Hello everybody and welcome to the Pastel Memories Episode 1 uh, anime review. Um, this, I would have liked a bit more explanation with this show, but uh, otherwise I thought it was fairly enjoyable. So, it gave me kind of Love Live-ish vibes, with, you know, there's a group of girls that go about solving a problem, and it's just all about that, basically. It gave me kind of Love Live-ish vibes, vibes, obviously, without the singing and that, kind of like that. So, uh, I guess I'll just go through the episode and then I'll give my more overall thoughts at the end. So, uh, episode begins, Akihabara turns boring. No explanation, there's a dark cloud, wipes away all the fun, just getting a normal boring city. And I was like, okay, I guess we'll get this explained later then. Hopefully we do, like in later on in the series. Hopefully not too late, because I would like to know what's going on. But... Uh, then we meet our, I assume, main character, Izumi. She's pink. She's pink, essentially. That's her thing. Is She's got pink hair. And uh, she works at the rabbit shed shop along with, like, nine other girls, ten other girls, a lot of other girls. And apparently they only get one customer a day, if they're lucky. So how on earth they can afford to hire all these girls while still only having one customer is... Uh, you know, I would not want to be their, their accountant or their manager or their money person. Um, I can't imagine they're doing very well, personally. But uh, So, then uh, they have like a little book with a... Uh, it's like, not really... Uh, I forget what they call it. It's like, but a little girl puts a request in it. Have you got this manga series, please? And uh, so then they go on a quest to uh, find the manga series... And they can only find volumes 2 and 5 in their shop for some reason. Very specific. I guess they weren't very good. And they didn't sell well. But uh, along this this quest, they very loads more of the uh, girls meet. I think by the end there's like 12. There's a lot. And there's also a little flying thing. What, 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 what's the animal? A rabbit. It's called the Rabbit Shed Shop. It's probably a rabbit. But uh, that's later on. So they go about doing this. There's also ghosts at some point. Like Izumi sees ghosts and that leads her to a shop. Which doesn't have the book she's looking for. They manage to get all but volume 1. So they get volume 2 to 7. Thumbs up. But they couldn't get volume 1. And people's memories are disappearing of the thing. I think is kind of what they implied. Which is, you know. But uh, then towards the end. So at this point everything's been kind of normal. You know, they've been... Obviously, the circumstances about what's happened to Akihabara weren't normal. But uh, what they were doing, they're just searching for manga. That's pretty ordinary. And then some people come out of a clock. And there's a flying rabbit. And then he's like, we've got to jump into another anime's world. And I'm like, I'm sorry? Is this anime Kingdom Hearts? What's going on? But uh, yeah, then they've got a, the manga they've just collected starts disappearing. So they're like, they jump into the world of that manga and sort out what's going on, and that's where the episode ended. I'm like, okay, I'm intrigued. I'm very intrigued. It's not like a top 10, 100% best anime or anything, but I'm intrigued to see where this goes. Like, the it could, the concept could be, could be fairly interesting. I think it's based off a mobile game, which is always a worry, but uh, so far this hasn't completely turned me off like I thought it would, so... I guess that's a thumbs up so far. It could get a lot worse. It could turn absolutely garbo. But for right now, I wouldn't say I'm invested, but I'm intrigued. So, that's been my review of this first episode. Uh, I can't remember any of the characters' names, other than Izumi is pink. Is pink. Uh, they were said, but uh, I, you know, I gotta be, uh, you know, I gotta figure it I gotta, more time, I'll figure it out. That's what I'm trying to say. Anyway, I will see you guys next week for episode two. See ya.